people and I'm back cooking and today I'm making pea soup. Uh, first I'm starting off by melting a tablespoon of marge in a pan. I know it's a big tablespoon but and then after the marge is melted or butter because you can use butter you can add the onions as you can see it's melted now I'm going to slowly add the onions keep stirring while I'm doing the onions all, you've got to do, all it says is a medium onion, I'm going to say mushroom then, medium onion, just cut it up, slice it up, but first of all wash it, slice it up, then you can put it in the pan when your marge or butter has melted. Now the onions have had a little time cooking, I'm going to slowly add the peas a bit at a time now you can use any peas that you want garden peas, processed peas, any peas I'm just adding them I just say add half a cup of water so I'm just making sure that nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan a few more peas Shut up, my son's had to go again behind camera. The rest of the water. It says to use frozen peas, but you don't have to, you can use quick soak peas as I have been informed by my friend. They're all starting to cook nicely and for your stock you can use either vegetable stock if you want it veggie tasting or you can use a beef stock which I'm using to make it a bit more beefy just crumble it up and mix it in Um, I'm sorry I didn't say how many peas you needed. Uh, if you only I can think, if you buy a small pack of peas, small packets of peas, uh, it should take the lot. I don't know how many's in. I don't know how many were in mine. I forgot to keep the packet. But yeah, buy, buy a small packet of peas, any sort of your choice, and that will be the lot. The medium onion. And like I said, it's either an oxo or a veggie oxo or anything you want. I'm bringing that now to a nice simmer so everything can get done. There we are, just keep turning it over until it starts simmering nicely. Now it's starting to simmer, so now I'm going to add a little bit more juice. <sighs> Tablespoon <clears throat> of olive oil, it's got to be olive oil. And mix that in a teaspoon of thyme. Now you can either use thyme or parsley. I can't open it. Can you open that? <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. And you want a teaspoon 
Mm. of thyme yeah thyme like I said you can use parsley if you want and you stir stir that in and a teaspoon now of salt Oh my word, what's up with this salt? Just did you go wrong on camera, I swear. <laughs> well, seeing that it's all gone messed up, on, messed up to start with, I'm just going to put some in. That'll be enough. So now I'm going to mix all that, turn the heat down. It doesn't want to be boiling, it just wants to be simmering. And that looks like it's simmering to me. Nice and cooking lovely. I'm going to put it in the blender. It's a new blender and I'm really unsure about how it works. So I'm just going to put batches in, like it said, which in case is like half of the mixture. That's about it. Filling all over, a bit of juice going in. Lay down. Let's have a go. Do you want me to do it to the safe side? Too much stuff in that's why it said in batches uh, obviously I put too much in so now I'm going to put it back on lid first and then see if it does it this time well what now on a minute is it what is it press down and hold um, no press down and twist wait 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 mm-hmm I'm pressing down, nothing is happening. <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't! You broke me. In. I'm going to put all this in. There we are. All in. Now it's my turn to have a go, see if I can work it. see the pea soup is done uh, I don't know if you're supposed to warm it up again but what the hell you want it warm you don't want it freezing so now I'm going to put it in the dishes it's nice and thick as it's supposed to be you can have bread with this or on top of it you can have cream on top Whichever you do it prefer. There we are. Now that is pea soap done. And I have never ever made that before. And this is the end product pro product of Please, <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I hope you like what you've seen. And I hope you keep viewing me and giving me a big old thumbs up. If you want me to make something or just to cook something, please leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, get subscribing the more the merrier. Thank you. Bye. And I want to give a thank you to my son for helping me with the new blender. Thank you, Lee. Sorry.